Right. Okay. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm going to bring you our first Gradle deck profile. I have another one in the works, so we're going to get to that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with one Mullen Glacia, the Elemental Lord. He's a great card. You can special summon him if you've got five water monsters in the graveyard. And when he's special summoned, you can make your opponent discard two cards from their hand. Next we have for some of that back row destruction, Mobius the, El uh, the Mega Monarch. Uh, if you tribute summon him using water monsters, you, the opponent can't actually stop his effect. They can't activate cards or effects in response. And he takes out three spells and traps. Uh, more of uh, stopping your opponent from doing things, we have three Barrier Statue of the Torrent, which is useful in combination with another card we've got in here. Uh, some of the support, this isn't the main part of the deck, is Arowana, uh, uh, Aqua Actress Arowana, who can search for more uh, Aqua Actresses. We're playing two of those. We're playing three Aqua Actress Tetra, which searches for one of the more important uh, continuous sp uh, spells we're using. We're also playing three Gradle Slimes, which uh, has a great effect to get itself on the field and more Gradles and just go straight into synchros with uh, level 8s or higher. Uh, as far as the other Gradle monsters we're playing, we're playing Gradle Eagle. When destroyed by a battle or a monster effect, you can target an opponent's monster, uh, face up monster, and take control of it by equipping Eagle to it. Cobra does much the same thing, except instead of monster effects, he's got trap effects. We're playing two of those. Two Gradle Alligators, which again does the same thing, but with spell effects. Although all of them get their effect when destroyed by battle. Uh, starting our spells, we have one Foolish Burial to try to get uh, our Gradle Slime in the graveyard as early as possible so we can get his effect off. Because we're playing a lot of continuous traps in the deck that we don't want on the field later, we're playing a pair of Magic Planter for some extra draw power. There's also a combo with this, uh, with Call of the Haunted and Cobra. Uh, the uh, continuous spell I was talking about earlier is Aquarium Stage, which prevents your water monsters from being destroyed by battle. So if you play that first turn with Barrier Statue of the Torrent, they can't really special summon anything other than water monsters. So just, you know, hope you're not playing like Dynamist or something. Uh, three Gradle Impact for popping some cards sometimes, but mostly because it's a once per turn search, which is amazing. Uh, you can only use each effect once per turn, so it doesn't matter if you have two on the field. The effect does not stack. Uh, we're playing one Compulsory Evacuation Device to get trouble cards off the field. Uh, one Torrential Tribute to try to keep your opponent from building up too much of a field. A pair of Mirror Force, just again for back row defense. Uh, some of those continuous cards we're playing. We're only playing one Fiendish Chain at the moment because I have other continuous spells that work better for the deck. I uh, might bump it up to two eventually, but not right now. Uh, two Call of the Haunted, and what you can do with this is you can Call of the Haunted uh, Gradle Cobra back on the field, then play Magic Planter, and then Call of the Haunted will destroy Gradle Cobra and then you can take a monster with Gradle Cobra's effect and get a uh, double draw. Uh, two Gradle Split. I might bump this up to uh, three. I'm just playing two for now, though. He can help you. This card can help you get your uh, big synchros on the field again by destroying a monster it equips itself to, and then you special summon two Gradles from the deck with different names. And then a pair of Gradle Parasite, which is a great card to get early game, but not so great later game. Which is, again, another card we have the uh, Magic Planter in there for. So we can get rid of it during the late game. Uh, Ixies we're playing is one number 47 Nightmare Shark because there is a lot of level 3s to make him with. And they're very easy to get on the field. Um, and I can also actually get level 8s on the field pretty easy. So we're playing one Divine Dragon Knight Felgrand. Uh, the level 6... Hang on, let me clear that off. The level 6 Synchro we're going to be continuing to play is Duloran, Tiger King of the Ice Barrier. And he can make himself really big and also, again, help you get some of your face-ups on the field, off the field, when you don't need them anymore. Uh, one Black Rose Moonlight Dragon. It's kind of like a compulse every time something is special summoned. Uh, Gungner, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, for more destroying and field clearing and stuff. And... He can help you put enough water monsters in your graveyard to get Molan Glacia out. 
One Stardust Spark Dragon, because we're really good at making level 8s, and he's got a pretty good effect. Thought Ruler Archfiend, again, good effect, level 8. A pair of Scrap Dragons to pair up with um, Gradle Eagle, where you can destroy Gradle Eagle and a card your opponent controls, and then use Gradle Eagle to take control of an opponent's monster. Uh, we are playing a Red Wyvern at the moment. That's going to become uh, the third part of our... Gradle Dragons. We only have two at the moment. There's a third on the way. It'll be here soon. But you do want to play at least two Gradle Dragons for your own deck because they're, they can loop into each other. When it's summoned, uh, or Synchro Summoned, you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of water monsters that were used for its Synchro Summon. Uh, as well as when it is uh, sent from the field to the graveyard, or destroyed by card effect and sent from the field to the graveyard, you can special summon an aqua monster from your graveyard with its effects negated, which would be another Gradle Dragon, preferably. Uh, then we have Trishla, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, great card in any deck that can make him consistently. I can make it do okay with him. And then other really big synchro monsters, we have Leo, the Keeper of the Sacred Tree, and Star Eater. Just really great synchro monsters, uh, big things you can make later on. Uh, that's all I got for this. Not really playing a side deck. Thank you very much. All right, horseman. You're afraid to get up. Thanks for helping me out there, buddy. You're welcome, friend.